Nana has come in his numbers with his whole family. Uh, but Nana didn't only bring his family. He brought something else. He says, Mojo is his good friend, and uh, good friends are always together in everything they do. <laughs> Give him another hand. <laughs> another hand. So, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, he has brought... Uh, what is it? Uh, he has brought him drink. Made in Scotland. A brochure. Made in Scotland drink to celebrate the entry of his baby into this world. Give him another hand for that. <laughs> uh, look, as if that wasn't enough. He has brought 200,000 cities. Give him another hand for that. <laughs> 200,000 cities to that drink. Nana, we thank you. Give him another hand. Come <laughs> Uh, if you know what goes into having a baby, eh? but our friend of Ojo has given, eh, give him another hand. <laughs> uh, uh, the donations are coming. Uh, our baby Ojo has given us 5,000. You all had it. Give him another hand for that. Eh? <laughs> uh, uh. Mojo is my friend. I have known Mojo. And he's a man of industry. Uh, uh, Open the music. Let the music play on. Let us dance. Everybody should dance. Oh. Yeah. Hey, are you going to dance? Yeah. Say, I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance. Hey, let the music go. Come on. Uh, uh, open the floor for us. Let us dance. What is it? Nana Nye. Nana, you're welcome. Thank you. Come and have a seat. 
Uh, what is it? It's just a small misunderstanding. Don't worry, I will settle it. Ah, 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 I don't believe what just happened. Jesus Christ! Look, look at what your father has done. Because of that small girl, he wants to marry that small girl. While I'm in this house. Very well. I'm waiting for him. I don't believe it. Look at my face. Look at my face. Oh! I swear, something will happen in this house today. Let the man. Hey, Poko and Naicha, go to bed. Go and change your dress. Goodness gracious me, I don't believe it. Hey. Okay. I am the fool. I've stayed with him when he had milk teeth. Now, he's a man. He wants another woman. Jesus. Jesus. The next time you act in such an uncivilized manner, I will kill you. You will, dear man. You will kill me because you are Jesus. Come and kill me. You've forgotten when I had to sell my clothes to look after you. You come and kill me because of a small girl. Oh, Trisopa. Open up. Open up, say. You wait and see. Wait and see. I'm waiting. That's all you know, women. We'll see who is the man in this house. We'll see. If you are the man today because you, you have money, you you see who is the man. You, you think you are hard? Where is the stupid man? Are you still standing there? Are you standing there? from the house. I don't want to see her again. Just do what I tell you. No questions. We'll see who is who in this house. Hey, Nana. Is this how your life is? You're ready to throw my things on the floor today. Get out of my way. Hey, you forgot to build this house with you. 
you Can did you what? Because of a teenager. You Can call you yourself the woman in the house. We we'll see who is the man. Oh, you forgotten that I'm a woman. You forgotten that I'm a woman. Uh -huh. Because of a fishy, bony, skinny person. Like, okay, sorry. She's about the most beautiful girl, if you care to know. Keep quiet, so I don't like that. You are all part of. You are. You are all part of of, of, of the setter. You don't know about this woman who's been coming to this house. It doesn't matter. That I today should be thrown out of a house oh, I have madam. helped. Madam, you have sure been looking madam. for me. Madam, 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 I can choose to marry any number of women that I like. After I don't have, I, I don't have a stool wife. Or because I, I took pity on you and your children. Oh, I'm not surprised. You've spoken like a typical Ghanaian man. All you know is women, 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 and cars. Yes. Thank you and very much. And you're talking like a typical Ghanaian woman. Yes. This is the way you talk. Oh, don't worry. Take your children, leave the house. Hey, Nana, my children, eh? Because I had them with a stone. God will punish you. God will punish you. Yes, and you get the balance, you. I say God will punish you. I should take my children. Uh, Kwame, yes, no, no. don't use my car. Pick uh, her taxi and she goes I'm away. I'm going Just to take your stupid car. Your yes. car. My car is not stupid. Your car. Madam, you will see something. When I'm talking, don't talk. But for this, I'm uh, here. Leave my dress alone. No, no. Tomorrow early morning, we'll be going to Accra. Okay? Yes, now I, I need absolute peace. No disturbance. So yeah. yeah. Yes, no disturbance. Yes. Come to check on your beat. That is it. Ah, so. please, please. <laughs> Alaji Mu Kaila. Uh, Alaji. Yeah. Uh, it's very unfortunate we can't award you the contract. Oh, 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 why not? Your beat was just too high. <laughs> that is not a problem. <laughs> this is a letter for you. 
Letter. Oh, yes. Uh, it is a letter. You read it. <laughs> you see, these days the weather is just too hot and one needs ice water. <laughs> what do you mean by this? <laughs> oh, this is just the beginning, you know. <laughs> if you just give me the contract, ah, you, you will like it. <laughs> Elijah, please, you are in the wrong office. I said this is just the beginning. You are in the wrong office. Please. The door. Huh? The door. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Please don't let me say anything rash. You will forever remain in this ministry. Nonsense. Foolish man. Yes, come in. Hello. Uh, please sit down. <coughs> uh, I'm sure you've come to check on your bid. That's right. Excuse me. Uh, your bid number, please. RH took um, 299. RH took 299. Yes, that's it. Oh, Nana Adai. That's right. That's it. Um, Nana. Yes. Your bid was above our estimated budget by 200%. So, I'm afraid the ministry can't award you the contract. There's nothing can do about it. Uh, just a moment. Uh, Nana, uh, what did you say? Did you, what did you say? Your number, your number was. R H two double nine. Nana, I'm sorry. In fact, the ministry has decided to award you the contract. Very good. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. I hope you do a good work. My works have always been very good. Very good. Trust yes. me. I'll come back and see you later. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, oh. See you, Nana.
from the way you eat, I think you like the food. Mm, it's nice. You can trust Snoopy M restaurant. What? Snoopy M. Uh, I see. It's always been my first stop when I come to Accra. Mm. Morning, morning. Morning. I'm late, you. I'm late. Don't know whether he's gone or not. Hey, what's that? It's coffee. 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 Let's be cold it properly for you. I think you need a pass somewhere here. No, Grandma, I don't know. Okay, it. okay, let me do it for you. Kofi, you should continue to be the good boy that you are. Do you know Aunt Essie brought you to me when you were only two years old? Eh? Hey. Eh? And since then you've been my everything. My uncle, my brother, my friend, my husband. And your advice? Eh, hey, good, Kofi, my boy. Okay, yeah, okay. You wait. Kofi, this is your bread and your banana, eh? Kofi, the gentleman, eh? And the whole belly. Okay. Eh, uh -huh, Kofi, wait. Grandma, I'm late. Get this 50 cities so that you buy something during the break time, eh? Be home early. Okay. Bye bye, my boy. Bye. Kofi is absent today. Oh, fine. Morning, Morning, how are you? Get seated. You're already late. Um, who can recite the poem we learned yesterday? I remember. I remember. Uh, okay, it's a good attempt. Who will do it? Yes. I remember. I remember. Where I was used to swing and thought that the air must rush is at fresh to swallow on my wing. My spirit flew in feathers now. That is so heavy now. Add summer pools to hardly pull the fever on my brow. That's very nice. Clap for him. Okay, I hope you haven't forgotten the about the seven wonders we learned yesterday. Who can mention some of the seven wonders of the world? Yes. Yes, you. Jesus turned water into wine. No, but it's a good try. Who will give me the correct answer? Yes, Kofi. The pyramids of Egypt. Very good. Clap for him. <laughs> will you distribute the books to your friends? You write the seven wonders of the world. Oh Lord, 
guide and guard us. Once we are for us, no one can be against us. Amen. I do so. Good afternoon, school. Good afternoon, teachers and friends. With a jump, about 10. Front 10. Dismiss. <laughs> you want to write? Yes. Huh? Yes. Can you? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Huh? No, 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 not that way. Take, take, take your leg over. No, 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 no. We have to go in the back. Sit on the back. Let's go. Wait for me. Let me go first, okay? Sit on it. Are you okay? Yes. Can I go? Yes. Choboy! Choboy! Yesterday, word came out that he's a baby. The Paman Sapa was missing, but I suspect he has been killed. In 1982, 83, 84, and 85, similar killings took place almost around the same time of the year. In 1985 case, when Kwabna Shamatin was suspected and arrested, it was one of the richest and prominent persons in this town who went and bailed him out of cells. I don't want to mention names, but I'm sure you know whom I'm talking about. Your boy! Hey! Your boy! Hey! You're a liar. We all know you are talking about Nana Dai. Nana Dai is a very responsible man. And he offers help to everybody who needs help. Am I lying? Yes. 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 The reputation of our people and this town is at stake. If we don't tackle this issue very well, there will be a time no one will be prepared to come or travel down to this town to work or do business. Just yesterday, uh, I was told that a national service personnel has refused to be posted here because he's afraid for his life. Please. Let us look at this issue critically. If we live here for our houses, please everyone should put his or her eyes and mind on this issue and try to find some uh, uh, solution to it. We shall meet later and discuss it. We discuss and meet later on. Cha boy! Cha boy! Okay. So, see you where. Now, you have been exposed. You are responsible for all those things in this town. I don't care if you've bought all the placement in this town. If it means taking the matter to the castle, everybody will soon know. You hypocrite. Please, sit down and let me serve you some drinks. I didn't come here to drink. I'm going to the police. You can explain yourself to them. Mojo. Please sit down and have some drinks. Yes. Drink.
look, just be patient and listen to me before you decide going to the police station. To me, money is not all things. Money is everything. More money means more respect, more influence, more power. And once you have money and power, you can rule the whole world. You can buy all the cars that you want. A Mercedes, BMW, Hyundai, Pathfinder, name it. And you can choose between all the girls that you fancy. Slim, tall, short, fat one. You can even buy a human being if you want to. That is the power of money. Whatever you say, everybody listens. Every woman, every mother will want you to marry one of her daughters. Anytime you speak, everybody listens. They will heap on you a lot of titles. Nana, uncle, Mura, Oberima, Okatechi, Ehunabubri. You'll be in the company of very, very big people. And at every function, they want you to be the chairman, the president, or the life patron. In fact, you are virtually worshipped. You know what? You can make other miserable people's life happy. Tell me, have you seen a poor man with friends? A poor man has no friend. A poor man has no loving and good marriage. A poor man's wife is always angry. His children never laugh. Now, think about it. Just keep quiet about this incident. And I will make you one of the richest men in this whole country. Money and power talk. That is the real world of today. What do you say? Sika. Eyemuja. Sika Eyemuja. So, what do you want me to do now? I'll give you two million cities here and now. I also help you to establish a construction firm of your own here. Later, I'll show you how to get more money when you join my secret ministry. Thank you, Nana. Do you realize what you've done? Do you realize what you've done? But Nana. Shut up! Shut, shut up! My prestige is at stake. 
Don't get out! Get out. and world leaders the world over give promises they cannot fulfill. Some of them are only interested in getting elected. And once they get elected, I needn't bore you with the details. Businessmen, businesswomen, retailers, market women, they all time and again fail to pay back the loans they collect or pay back the price of goods they borrow promises. In fact, most of us believe that promises are made to be broken rather than fulfilled. Sometimes, I almost believe that even the altar of marriage is the most desecrated place on earth. And yet, the altar of marriage, we find a man and woman make the most profound and solemn promises that any two people can make to each other. To be faithful, to cherish each other, to care for each other, in sickness or in health. Papa, what's that, please? Pray for my daughter. Oh, 
That in the name of Jesus, Amen. you touch our sister Amen. and make her whole again. Yes, Lord. Thank you that even now you have answered our prayer. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Shade and the light, the body and the spade in the body and the light. Shade and the light, the body and the spade in the body. Thou shalt not commit murder. Thou shalt not commit murder. Thou shalt not commit murder. Shade and the sight eat body and the light. The Lord shall trump over Satan. Amen. The Lord shall trump over devil. God is supreme. Amen. Does he need? Thirty thousand CDs, Nana. What do I get in return? Uh, I'll pay back with interest any amount by the end of the year. No. I don't need the money back. I want you to do something for me. And if you agree to do it, I'll give you three million CDs as against the 30,000 that you're demanding. Um, first, we want you to swear that nothing we say in this room will get out. If it does, we shall kill you. I swear by the black stools of Pananum. Well said. I need a human head to pacify my God. And I want you to assist these two gentlemen. And like I said, if you succeed, nine million cities for the three of you to be shared equally amongst you. Nine million cities. Do you have anyone in mind? Uh, not really. What about your nephew, Kofi Nkrabia? What? No! No, 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 never! No, no, never! Remember, three million cities for you. Alone. Okay. Are you sure you agree that we use your nephew, Kofin Kravia? Yes. Cheers to that.
Jagadu, drink. Yeah. Today we are bringing you another sacrifice. Kufin Krabia's head. Let it fall into our hands without trouble. Yeah. We are in the Blood Brotherhood, the secret ministry. There is no turning back. Anyone who betrays us shall suffer death. Yeah. I'll be leaving for Accra by 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So that by 2 p.m., if you are not back, if the head is not here, I'll take it that the mission was not successful. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Take your back so that you go to church. Oh, Grandma, I don't want to go to church today. Why not? I don't feel like going today. Ah, ah. For the past seven years, you've never missed the church. But I always go to church. Why? I don't even have time to play with my friend. Just leave me alone. Oh, you are behaving so strangely today. Why this behavior? Eh? You are such a good boy. Why? Eh? Your friends are spoiling you. If you don't want to go to church today, I'll seize this ball. Oh, Grandma, if please. you don't want to go to church, I'll seize the ball. Grandma, please don't seize the I ball. I will seize the ball if you oh, don't Grandma, want to go to church. Please. Hey, coffee! Co coffee! You, you are running away. Go. You come and meet me there. You! I'll see and tell Martha about you. You, you! You will see! I'll report you to your mother today. You will see. You, coffee, you come and meet me. Kofi, <laughs> how are you? Fine. Hey, Kofi, I bought something for you. How does it go? Oh, thank you, Uncle. Do you like it? Yes, I like hey, it. Why didn't you go to church? I didn't feel like going to. I'll go next week. You go next week. Where's Grandma? She has gone to church. Ah. Would you, would you like to go to the farm with me? I'm going to check my traps. Yes, yes, I like to. Go. You want to go? Okay, then run and get me my cutlass, huh? Buy you something else, eh? Okay. <laughs> Buy me another one. The same type. The same type? Yes. No. Oh, come bring it, bring it. Oh. No, I don't, I don't. No, I'll buy you the pass. The one that you can put your money in when you grow up. You get a lot of money, you put it inside, eh? Uncle. Hey, Kofi. Uncle. You don't love you, don't you? Yes, Uncle. Uncle. Kofi, when somebody does something wrong to you, you can forgive him, can't you? Yes, Uncle. The pastor always says that Jesus died so that God will forgive us our sins. So we should also forgive others. Good. 
uncles, why are you asking me in this? Why? Have you seen or what? Don't worry. If you pray to God, he will forgive you. Fee. I'll be back in a minute. Um, Wachi, um, we can't find the boy, so let's go home. Yes, Wachi, where are you? We are coming. Let's go home. We are going. We are coming, Wachi. Let's go home. We're going.
go in and find him. Huh? You let us go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come for it. Come for it! I think we are joking. You are always nice to me. When I grow up and become a doctor and have plenty of money, I'll look after you well. I'll buy you a nice car, a nice house, and good clothes. Eh? <laughs> oh, Kofi. Come, come, come. Kofi. Uncle. Hey, Kofi. Uncle. You don't love you, don't you? Yes, Uncle. Two dogs. Uncle. You don't love you, don't you? Yes, Uncle. Uncle. 
uncle. Kofi, when somebody does something wrong to you, you can forgive him, can't you? Yes, uncle. The pastor always says that Jesus died so that God will forgive us our sins. So we should also forgive others. Uncle, why are you asking me in this? Why? Have you seen or what? Don't worry. No. If you pray to God, he will forgive you. Let's go. Always nice to me. When I grow up and become a doctor and have plenty of money, I'll look after you well. I'll buy you a nice car, a nice house, and good clothes. Uh. Good evening. Good evening. I, I'm looking for Nana. Nana, he left Accra about two hours ago. What's oh. the matter? I have something for him. Okay, wait. Soja! Soja! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this man, under the excuse of bringing this dog to Rana, was trying to come and steal things from the house. What is that thing you This man, this very man. Where did you get it from? My friend, come behind the counter. Come! My friend, come, 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 come. Come here. You said who gave it to you? I was saying it. Who gave it to you? Odro. You gave it to for how? You said I should give it to Nana, Nana there. Nana there? Yes. Odro and Mojo. Is it true? Yes, sir. Odro and Mojo. Mojo. Yes. Sajay Jay. Sir. Please come. Search my put him to sir. Take off, please. This trial. It has been a tiring and exhausting one. I welcome all of you back into the tribunal once again. I expect everyone to maintain absolute silence in the course of the proceedings. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the defense and the accused persons, especially Nana, for showing so much patience and restraint when they were personally insulted by the prosecution. As a chairperson for this tribunal, I will not countenance any abusive language or phrases. And I want the prosecution to take note and conduct himself properly. I call on the prosecution to present its summary. Madam Chairperson of the tribunal, I want to make a submission. There has been a new development in this case. Odro has attempted to commit suicide and is seriously injured in hospital. I humbly request for an adjournment until Odro is well enough. Uh, ma Madam, I oppose the motion by the defense. The, 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 the trial, all the proceedings, we've gone through it. This is the last day, and it has no bearing whatsoever. I think this is not relevant. I feel very strongly Odro has to be here for the trial to continue. And I humbly request for an adjournment. Thank you, madam. I call on the prosecution to present its summary. Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, it has been proven beyond reasonable doubt that these four wicked gentlemen snuffed the life out of the little innocent boy, Kofi Inkrabia. For identification purposes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the grandmother, the loving grandmother. Very nice woman, she touches my heart a lot. You see, in the course of the proceedings, there were a lot of witnesses who came and testified for these four wicked men. You see, during the cross-examination, I examined their evidence and I exposed them because they were all lies. You see, their stories were concocted. They were afterthought witnesses. Whether they were paid to testify on behalf of the accused persons, I don't know. But you will be a better judge. Ladies and gentlemen, Madam Chairperson, Sehwi Aniwakrum has 10,000 people. And Boache takes the head to Nana's house. That was the first spot, the first place that he takes the head. Out of 10,000 people, he selects Nana's house. Two, we have over 5,000 houses at Sehwi Aniwaku, he takes the head to Nana's house. So two, two, two points. He selects Nana as an individual, and he passes all the houses. 
Then lies at Nana's door. And the witnesses, Nana, the defense, are all claiming Nana is innocent. If this is not strange to you, then it's strange to me, because I'm a human being and I can think. Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, the trial is not only confined to this room, it is confined to the whole community of Sevi Aniwakrum. The image, the reputation of all theories have been dented because of this case, because of the wicked act of these four gentlemen. And we need to correct that. Savvy people are very nice people. These four gentlemen are a threat to society. They are a threat to society. A threat to the survival of our children. Madam Chairperson, I strongly recommend that these four gentlemen be found guilty and sentenced to death by firing squad. Thank you. I now call on the defense to present its summary. Madam Chairperson of the Tribunal, this is a critical moment because the life of my clients, Nana Adai, Mojo, and Odro are at stake. It is therefore essential that the case brought against them be proven beyond all reasonable doubt. And that, Madam Chairperson, you are not swayed by any emotional sentiments to cloud your better judgment. Because to me, this case has not been proven beyond all reasonable doubt. And why? Because the circumstantial evidence in this case is very strong. One, Nana, a very God-fearing, responsible with a wife and two children, benevolent member of Sesri and Newark Room, was not even at Newark Room. On the night of the murder, Nana was in Accra, and he has too strong alibi to support it. The driver of Nana has taken the stand to say that Nana was in Accra. So has Papa said, the night watchman. Now, if Boachi is trying to implicate Nana, I don't understand this because Boachi has never seen Nana, neither has he talked to him. Neither has he met him. At the identification parade, Boachi could not identify any of the accused persons. He could not identify Udro. He could not identify Mojo. He could not identify Nana. Now, how could he implicate Nana in such a barbaric and heinous crime? Odro, at the time of the murder, was in Obuasi. For your information, Mr. Prosecutor, he was in Obuasi, renovating the family house. The mason, the carpenter. They both taking a stand, Madam Chairperson, to collaborate Odro's story that he was renovating the family house. Now, how could Obuasi implicate such a man in this murder? Mojo, as a record will show, was 40 miles away from the scene of the crime. 40 miles away from the scene of the crime. Settling a land dispute. Helping the chief to settle a land dispute 40 miles away in, in Yamebetre. And now, Boache, a wicked man like that implicates him in this heinous crime. <laughs> Madam Chairperson, I don't think these nice gentlemen here have supernatural or magical powers to divide themselves into two.
one half operating in a new work room, the other half operating somewhere else. The murder was committed by Boati alone. And I mean Boati alone. He alone committed this murder. He alone should be tried and he alone should be punished for it. It was Boati who led Kofi Grabia into the bush. Boati led him into the bush. Boati slaughtered him. It was Boati who was caught red handed with the head of Kofi Grabia. Boati could not identify any of the accused at the police station. Now, the question is, why is Boachi trying to implicate Nana Adai, Mojo, and Odru? Because he knows if he implicates Nana in this case, Nana will go scot free and he also will go scot free. But I will not allow that to happen because Boachi alone committed this crime and he alone will get punished for it. Ladies and gentlemen, Madam Chairperson of this tribunal, since it has not been proven beyond all reasonable doubt, and since a man is not guilty until he's proven beyond all reasonable doubt, I make this humble submission that my clients be acquitted and discharged from this case. I also make this submission that due to the disgrace and discredit that this trial has brought to these gentlemen, they paid a compensation of two million cities each. They be paid a compensation of two million cities each. For all the disgrace that's been brought upon them. Thank you very much. Nanade, do you have anything to say? Yes, madam. <laughs> madam Chairperson of the Tribunal, let me first assure the whole nation, those watching this trial at home on TV. And all those who have assembled here that I am completely innocent. Never in my life have I made the attempt to take the life of even a chicken than to be accused of taking the life of a human being. I have strong Christian principles and I believe in God's law that thou shalt not kill. Madam Chapez, I am a father and I have children. I know how it feels to lose a child. Now, I share the pain, the anger, and the sorrow of Kofin Kravia's family. I do not know why this devil did what he did. Most of all, to implicate me in this most unheard of crime. I'm not asking for forgiveness from anybody. Not from this tribunal, nor from the family of Kofi in Kravia. Kill me now, you are killing me. You killed my son. You killed Kofi, my boy. Life is like you to me now. Kill me now. Kill me now. I believe in God. You will be punished. You will be punished. <laughs> 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 
Thank you. No, sir, uh, madam. Mr. White, do you have anything to say? Yes, sir, madam. Madam Chairperson, I'm sorry. I am really sorry. They are all lying. They are all lying. We are all murderers. We keep coffee. Madam, I don't know what actually came over me. I love coffee. Madam, I don't think that, 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 I don't think the four of us are fit to leave. Uh, we, we killed him. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Uh, I'm sorry. We don't fit to leave. Uh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. This is one of the most heinous crimes ever committed in this country. I have listened carefully to the accused persons, listened to both the defense and the prosecution, and have examined the statements of the various witnesses. If Nana Adair and the rest had not met Bwachi, how could Bwachi get up with a human head and take it to the Nana's house? Is human head a commodity that should be cut in search of a buyer? The laws of Ghana would protect all classes of persons, irrespective of age, status, and origin. No Ghanaian, by reason of wealth or power, will be allowed to take advantage of the people. The tribunal is convinced that Nanade, Mojo, Odro, and Bwachi knew themselves and conspired to murder the little boy for ritual purposes. The tribunal therefore sentenced all four men. Death by 